That is good. So all you need is a margarita. Hi, this is Ron Erickson at the Yankee Hawaiianary Cooking School. Today we are going to do a sun-dried tomato risotto. And so to start with, I'm using a pan. You can use a saute pan or a frying pan. I'm going to put some canola oil in it. I like canola oil because it has a higher melting point. I'm going to put just a little bit of butter. And then we'll take a couple of small onions and just chop those up and get them in the butter and oil. You'll find that a butter-oil combination works real nice because you get that great flavor from the butter. Okay, so there we go, we'll just get our onions softened up a little bit, and then the rice that I am using is our burial rice, and that is a real creamy rice. And you can usually get that at most stores. Okay. There we go, we get every bit of it in there. And just kind of stir these around a little bit. Okay, so once we get our onions sauteed a little bit, we will be adding the rice. And here I'm putting one cup of rice in. And then we just want to coat it a little bit. Now the first liquid that we're going to put in is going to be white wine. And so if you have a white wine that's a little harsh, uh, that's the best. The best wine is actually champagne that you have had uh, round and you know you usually pour it down the drain because it's flat. That makes wonderful cooking oil. So here we want this to be absorbed and what this is going to do is going to cut back on the amount of salt that we will need because wine is acid and that is what is going to give that quite a bit of flavor. So we just kind of let that cook a little bit until it's completely absorbed. And then we will add our sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to add in And these are sun-dried tomatoes that have been in olive oil. And so it's also going to give it a color. But it will give it a nice flavor. 
And what we're looking for is just the rice to cook down so it isn't hard. And so if you were to just take a kernel of rice like this, see it's nice and crunchy. And so we'll just wait and let this cook on down. Yeah, it's going to be wonderful. Wine is being absorbed. And so when it gets absorbed like this, we don't want the rice to burn, so then we are going to add in chicken stock. And we just want enough to cover. And then we'll just wait with that and let it get absorbed. You see the liquids disappearing. It's getting softer. Okay, so here we have it. It's been cooking. It takes about 20 minutes to do this. And then we just want to take, put this in a bowl or on a plate. You could use this with something or you could have it just the way it is. And so we could just have Nice, and risotto, usually you take it like this, and when you back and forth, and it will just kind of settle on out. If it has a little bit of liquid, don't worry about it, because it is going to all be absorbed. And here we'll take a taste of it. Hmm. Just delicious. So, make it at home, easy to do. This is Ron Erickson. Thanks for watching.